Hi, James here. First of all, this tutorial is only going to probably be for Animate Pro. You can probably take some of these scripting techniques into standard Animate, but I can't say that it will all work, and it definitely won't work if you just copy and paste it into the standard. But some of the things like building an interface and things like that will work in the standard version, so you can take parts of this into the standard version like you can use in your own scripts. This is going to be an overly complex script for a simple problem, purely because I want to sort of demonstrate a number of things. I'll just sort of load the script up here, and you'll see it comes up with, an op with a little dialog here, which allows me to add a highlight and a tone module, just a tone, just a highlight. Then it gives me the options if, I've, if I actually want to connect it to the composite module, or if I don't want to connect it. And I've set these up as the default. And it also gives me the choice to put a prefix before the names of everything. I could also do a suffix as well. Easily enough, you'll be able to see that. And like I so said, if I click OK, we go over to Network View, you'll see it's created this Tone Mate drawing, and Tone Module, Highlight Mate, Highlight Drawing. And this for me is quite useful because I often need multiple ones of these for a character, and just adding them like this is really fast and really neat. And hopefully it should be able to teach you a whole heap of things about scripting in the process that you can use to create interesting scripts. So I'm just going to delete these because we no longer need them. And we'll start off by going up here to our edit. I'm going to, we don't need the script because it's the one that's finished. And I'm going to just... Here we go, so we're now going to create, we don't need this one either, we're going to create a new script. I'm just going to call this tutorial add tone highlight. So now we'll just double click inside it and we're going to start by writing a function I'm just going to call it I'm just going to call it say tutorial add th for tone and highlight you use these rounded parentheses to close it off if you had any arguments later on you'll be able to put them in there and we'll just use a couple of these braces to close close it up and in here between these braces is where we write our code and so I'm going to start off by we'll start with their interface so I'm going to comment which is double forward slash and when you have a comment it means that anime isn't going to read this line of code so I'm just putting this line here so that we can sort of or I can know that when I look back at this that this is going to be where I've added the interface so the first thing is we need a variable name for the dialog. I'm going to use D because on a lot of the examples they that you'll see, they tend to use just D for the dialog. It's, it can be any name you want, it's just a variable name. And you put a new, and it's going to be a dialog. And then finish it off with a semicolon. Every line of code finishes with a semicolon. And then we can give this dialog a title which will be the name which appears at the top of the dialog and I'm just going to call it say options again you can put whatever you like there and it'll work just fine so next we're going to need to add some radio buttons and these buttons are, are those ones that um, I open this these are called radio buttons and what it basically means is you can only have one of these three choices selected. So, you know, because you obviously don't want to, you can't do multiple things of it. So these are options where you can only have one selected. So let's go back to our script. And we're going to create a variable. And I'm going to call it both just because it's going to be both tone and highlight, so I'm going to actually just go both th and then you go equal 
new. So I'm gonna add an RB in here. Let's just go both RB. I always put RB down to remind me that there's a radio button when I use it later on. And then you just type radio button semicolon. Now I'm gonna copy this line. I'm gonna paste it twice. And we're going to create a new radio button, a tone, and a new radio button, highlight. So the next thing we need to do is we need to give them a value, and we also need to give them some text to put beside these buttons. So, grab our variable name. And then we're going to go for dot checked and we're going to make it equal true because when I want it to come up, I want true to be the one selected. And then I'm going to go for the text, so dot text, using this dot whatever, dot whatever the next thing is accesses that part of the object. So text is the next thing I want to edit. I'm going to write highlight and tone. And so that when this is selected, we're going to have both the highlight and the tone module. Now once again, I'm going to copy both of these lines because it's essentially going to be exactly the same thing. Twice more. And this is going to be tone. So I'm just editing these because we're just going to be repeating the same thing for all of our variables. Okay, this is going to be. These are case sensitive, so you need to keep your same case. So let's start. I like starting with lowercase normally, so I'm going to change these all to lowercase. Just from habit of coding in other languages, I tend to use lowercase for the first word, uppercase for every word afterwards. And these are actually going to be false because I don't want them selected to start with. And so this is tone. And this is highlight. So the next thing we're going to need to do is actually add the whole interface. And I think I'll do that in the next part because I think I'm running out of time here, so I'll see you in the next part.